Hey, this is Brian here, and I just want to do a quick video on tagging your list. The importance of tagging your list is so when you are calling, uh, you can you can know what you're talking about. Also, you can do a um, list tagging. So list tagging is when you have multiple lists in, your, in the CRM, and then you can begin to see opportunities because certain people are going to be on different lists. Like you'll have a maybe a vacants list, high high equity list, absentee owner list, maybe a pre foreclosure list. And let's say you have a bunch of people all on the same sort of list and you'll you'll see the numbers start to stack up. Those are where the best opportunities are because you have what's what's called more pains, more seller pains, more more motivation to sell. So anyways I'm gonna show you how to do it and then it's up to you. You can upload the list. So let's go back, go back. So anyways, to upload, import a list, you're gonna to go to import contacts right here. You're gonna to go to contacts, import, import contacts, go to upload a file, upload. And then you're gonna go over here, go next. It usually doesn't take very long. Sometimes during the day it takes a little bit longer. But you want to make sure you got your mapping right. So this is called list mapping. You're going to map your list. Make sure you got your address, city, state, zip. And then you want to put their name in. So you're going to do your first name, first name, last name. And then for cold calling, you don't need their mail address. And you're going to say, don't import unmatched columns. And next, this is where you tag it. You're going to go to advanced, tag your list. So you're going to say, um, absentee owner. Absentee owner. Tired landlord. Tired landlord list, okay? Go to you're gonna go to go to submit, and then they're gonna show up here. So you're gonna see absentee owners, tired landlords, all that good stuff. And before you know it. You're going to have as you as you submit upload multiple lists, you're going to have numbers here for people that are on multiple lists. I will, let me see if I can show you here. And unfortunately, it's not here yet. So if I upload this list again, I'll show you how that works. We'll just go like this. I'm going to go next. <clears throat> so for the sake of showing you this, I'm just going to go through here and import this list. I'm going to say advanced. I'm going to tag it again. I'm going to say probates. Probate, and then I'm going to say equity, and I'm going to say something else. Mm. Uh, let's call it vacant. All right, so we're going to submit, and we will see what happens here. <coughs> So if you ever want to search for a for a record, oh, here we go. So the numbers are starting to appear. So as you get more lists near, these numbers are going to grow with people on the multiple lists. So people are going to show up here.
So there's no name over here because I didn't map it correctly, but I'm just showing you the tagging. As you, like I said, as you import more lists, people are going to be on different lists. People and homeowners are going to be on multiple lists. You'll start seeing three and four over here. Anyways, if you want to go search for certain things certain, you can you can click over here. You can say like uh, probate, which I don't think. I, hey, there you go. And I did probates. So probate, you can add whatever you want. Pre foreclosure. Tired landlord, and it's not showing up. Okay. There you go, some vacants. So you got vacants and more. And if you want to do uh, like a more filtered search, you can search by name, search by tag, search by address. There's all kinds of searches in here. Search by tag, search by last activity, last contacted. You can do pipeline status, which means either, which means there were follow-up pipelines are over here, over here in opportunities. These are your pipelines. So you got seller's pipeline and my pipeline. There's no leads in here yet, so you're not gonna see anything. But this is where your pipelines are. They're under your deals. Cash flow, you have cash cash buyers, sellers pipelines, and other social media pipelines. If you want to change the settings in your pipeline, you just go to here, you go to settings, pipelines. And then you're gonna go to my pipeline. You go to new leads. This is where you change your your stages, your labels. You just go to add. Let's redo it. All right, so back to tagging. We're going to get back on the topic. Go to contacts. So we can do pipelines, workflow, age, offer. You can, you can filter by offer, by products, all that good stuff. All right, so that's the all about tagging. Once again, if you didn't tag your list when you added it, you can go here, go to select. You can select the list or select all, and you can add a tag. You can say, um, I don't know, fix and flip. Fixer. Let's see. Come on. Oh, add tag. So we're going to add the tag fixer. And I'm going to show you over here. How the numbers are going to stack up. Well, it didn't do it yet. But you can keep adding more tags to your list if you want. Go over here, go to add tag. Um, you can just keep adding them. But ultimately, see the numbers are growing. Numbers are growing. So as you as you add your lists, people will be on other lists. A lot of times, if you're if you're marketing to the same area, the same geographic area, as you do that, you're going to see people on the different lists. Anyways, that's it for this video. Have a great day.